Hey guys, welcome to SimTech channel. This is tutorial two. We are working on how to solve IDMT relays problem. Now, as you can see on your screen, we have a picture of a short circuit happening inside a distribution box causing a lot of fire. Now, when this happen, that mean one of these guys, an IDMT relay just failed. Because if your overcurrent relay operate properly, you're going to prevent something like this from happening. This is a distribution box, but this could be bigger if it's happened in a transmission or a distribution substation. Now, this tutorial is very similar to the previous one, that is tutorial one, where we were also asked to calculate the multiple of setting current with the stated fault current flowing. Now, here, the stated fault current have, sh uh, have changed and also the current transformer ratio have also changed. This shows you that when you are working on finding a suitable uh, IDMT relay, you will always have to take care of which current transformer you choose so that it can work together with an IDMT relay. And on this tutorial, we also have a different tap setting. So we have a 50% tap setting. As you can see on your screen here, this particular IDMT relay have already the tapping set at 0.5, which is 50%. The previous tutorial, it was set at 1.2, which was 125%. So now we're going to proceed and just quickly uh, find what is the multiple of setting current for this particular set of values. So what do you have? We know that the CT ratio is uh, the I primary over I secondary, and we do the permutation to find our I secondary. We already talked about the issue of the primary current if it's not given. That means it's now in this case a fault current. Because let's say in a normal working operation of the circuit, you're going to have a current flowing may maybe of two, 2 amps, okay, or 2 kilo amps. Yeah, but in case of a short circuit, they're going to be 4,750 amps. So that is now the primary current in this case. Then replacing into our formula, we're going to have a secondary current of 5,94 amps. So this is now our secondary current. And so moving on, we know that the formula for M, the multiple of setting current, okay, M, the multiple of setting current, we know that the formula M is equal to I secondary over the setting current. And the setting current is then equal to the nominal current here. Uh, it says that it has a nominal current of 1 amp times the plug settings, which are set at 50%. Okay. In the previous tutorial, I explained the importance of your setting current as they are the function of the nominal current times the plug setting. As you can see right now here, the plug setting are set at 0.5%. So that is now our setting current. And from here, since we know what the nominal current is, 1 amp, and the plug settings are set at 50%, so that basically 0.5. So all that is needed right now is just to replace the non-values into the formula of M. And replacing the values, it will give us an M value of 11,88. And the value of M will, will then be used to calculate some other parameters that make up the working of an IDMT relay. So thanks guys for watching. If you have learned something in this tutorial and the previous one as well, please consider subscribing to Syntech channel and give the video a thumbs up. Until next time, cheers.